Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country Returns. We're gonna start with World 3 The Ruins and 3 1 Wonky Waterway. Gotta love that title, huh? Alright, so once again, uh, World 3 is still a little bit of a step up in difficulty from what we faced so far. I mean, I'm sure you pretty much come to expect that, but. Um, still, I really don't think it gets to the point where this, uh, I look at this and go, wow, I think this is kind of difficult, you know? So, um, I, it's still really not quite there yet for me, but, um, it, it is definitely noticeably harder, so there you go. Um, if we go to the left from the start, we can jump over to this platform and get our first puzzle piece, so make sure you get that before you go too far. Let's keep going, we're gonna be introduced to these sort of chickens on stilts, and if you can get this to work out just right... Uh, which I kind of messed up there. That can be really hard to do. Um, and if you bounce on all of these enemies in a row, you will uh, hit 8 and then get a 1-up. So, um, that's kind of... It's hard to do, but I have done it before. So, uh, it's too bad I didn't get it here in the recording, but oh well. So then as we keep going here, we're going to be introduced to one of the most annoying enemies in the game. Uh, this thing right here. Uh, shoots out those fireballs on both sides, and of course, being a fire enemy, you have to blow him out and then jump on him. So he's going to be causing me a lot of problems from here on out, I can guarantee you that. So once we're good here, you want to blow out those three candles, then uh, pull on this vine. This will cause a bunch of stuff to come down, including, as you can see, a puzzle piece. So we needed to do that. Uh, I think there's just banana coins in both of those, so I don't really care. Um, here we've got a vine we can pull. We don't need to worry about the blue fire guy down there at the bottom. We can pretty much just leave him there. Uh, jump on this climbable surface, go to the left, and there's a blast barrel that'll take us to a bonus game. And, of course, we've seen this before. Jump and collect everything before time runs out. I said I wasn't going to say it again, but, well, I guess I just did. So, this is the last time, for real, I promise. Alright, so let's just make sure to get everything. Just before time started to run out. Awesome. Alright, okay, so uh, that makes puzzle piece number three, I believe. Yep, looks like it. And let's keep going. We gotta do this thing again, but this time when we pull on the vine and jump up to the climbable surface, we're gonna head to the right. The O is up here, pretty obvious. That one's kinda hard to miss. And now I can move on. Uh, we got some more of these screaming pillars here. Um, you kind of want to coax them to come out and then go back. Obviously, if you don't have Diddy, though, you can just uh, jump on across as long as you're quick about it, like that. That'll work. So, you know, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, as you can see, pound it on the middle one to get a puzzle piece. There's another one under here that you want to drop down and get before pulling this, because once you do, it's inaccessible. So uh, make sure to do that first. Then we got some more uh, chickens to jump on. And into this little section here, we're going to have to jump across before the platforms collapse. It can be, uh, it's a little bit, it feels like you really have to hurry, but actually you have quite a bit of time. It's not really that bad, so um, as long as you pay attention to your jumps, then it'll be all right here. All right, let's wait on this guy to come back. There we go. And then further into the background. And then one last guy to jump over. And here we go. Another checkpoint here, and uh, we're going to have to pull on this vine to open up the big guy's mouth. Uh, be quick if you want to get these, because it closes uh, very fast. And if you don't get all of them before it closes the first time, if you reopen it, they won't reappear. So um, that's just kind of something you have to do. If you want to get some more prizes, you can do this whole candle thing again, and some more stuff will fall down. There's no puzzle piece in here, though, so if you don't want to, you don't have to. Uh, now this uh, platform has another one of these blue fire guys on it. Uh, we want to blow him out and kill him before getting his face, which has a puzzle piece in it. That's number six. You can see the G right in front of us, but these two pillars are going to crush down on it. So in order to get it, we're going to have to pound our way through, which is no big deal. And now I've gotten all the Kong letters. And if you can do this one... Oh yeah, look at look up at the mountain in the background. I, I didn't notice this my first time through, but you see the old Donkey Kong sprite with the... Uh, the, 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 that looks kind of like a Wii mode, I guess. I don't know, but he's holding it up there, so that's kind of cool. Um, so if we can bounce on all these things, there's eight of them, of course, so whenever we do, we'll get a one-up. These can be kind of hard, though, because you have to go uphill for this last one, so um, it's kind of hard to do without Diddy. And the final puzzle piece is back over here to the right. Um, pull on this vine to make it appear out of this guy's mouth. And then, uh, well, I think we should go back the quick way, like that. <laughs> All right, now we're at the exit barrel. I really don't care. The banana coin, that's fine. And we completed 3-1. So, really, I think you can tell that it is getting a little bit more difficult, but um, it's still not really at that point where it starts to just feel hard to me. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but 
Um, anyway, that's just where we are. So we got 100% on 3-1. And uh, that's pretty cool. I, I like the ruins as a world. Um, it's not bad. It, it kind of goes back to the jungle feel, sort of. You know, I mean... We went to the beach, which has that tropical feel about it. Now we're kind of back in a jungle area, but it's still cool. I like it, so... We're gonna take on 3-2, button bash. And this level's pretty cool. Um, I definitely do like it. It really has sort of an ancient ruins feel about it. Um, there's a lot of sort of, like, ancient mechanisms, you know, that we're gonna be dealing with, so... It's pretty cool. I think you'll like it once we get into it. So if we head over to the left from the start, we can ground pound this thing and then quickly get it out of the way before you get crushed, and that'll let us get our first puzzle piece. Then we want to go into these barrels through the statue's mouth and on inside, and this is the underground ruins area. It's pretty cool looking, isn't it? I gotta say, I do really like the atmosphere. Um, then you want to come over to the left, ground pound this bulb to get our second puzzle piece, then pound on this button three times to make these barrels appear. On the second one, go to the left, jump from the climbable ceiling, and get the third puzzle piece. Then you jump back into the third barrel, and the K is up here. Uh, do a bounce off this guy to get it. The good thing is this guy does not die no matter how many times you jump on him, so if you miss it a couple times, then you're fine. Uh, you got you know plenty of chances to do it. So uh, Then we want to hit that button, then shoot over to the right so we can go on through. And then now in this room, there doesn't really seem to be a whole lot we can do, but as we'll soon find out, we get attacked by... Hummingbirds. Yeah, not exactly the uh, the scariest enemy, but as you can see, um, it, it's pretty easy to get caught in between a few of them. So uh, just make sure you plan out your spacing somewhat well. And once we get here, we got to shoot through the sort of five colored gems on the wall. Do that three times, a barrel appears in the middle, and we can continue on. See, isn't this just a cool place? I really like how it looks. But <laughs> okay, so as we go to the right, we've got more barrel cannoning to do. Watch out for that thing, of course. And then we got to hit the button. And down to the right, back up here, go up, and into this one. Now, at the bottom here, we've got a cracked wall. You want to shoot through it, and that'll take us to a bonus game. And this is that one where you've got to shoot in between, so just make sure you pay attention to where the barrel in the middle is, of course. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> that was really close, too. I cannot get these last two. What's going on? Wow, are you kidding? Look at this. This is insane. Okay, there we go. Finally. <laughs> I don't know what was going on there, but... Alright, so yeah, that takes care of that bonus game. Just barely. I almost didn't get that. Now here you've got to do sort of a tricky jump off of that guy. The timing to jump off of him can be really hard. And uh, if you don't get it the first time, you can't get this. So you can't get that O. So you kind of just have to either like die and make him respawn or just come back through a second time to get it, but... Um, either way, we can continue on here as a checkpoint. I uh, got a pretty obvious climbable ceiling. We can head to the left, pound on this thing, and a barrel will come out to take us to... Another bonus game! Awesome. So this is thankfully uh, the easier variety where you just shoot out of the barrel and get the items up here. So, uh, this one is kind of a break. There we are. And puzzle piece. Alright, so as we go on, we want to come over to the right and then drop into this barrel. Make sure you do drop into the barrel. It's easy to just fall on through and uh, die. So, <laughs> you know, make sure you do that. Now we got to hit these four buttons. It is possible to hit two at a time. Uh, I thought I might have gotten it there, but I guess not. And then we can get up to this climbable ceiling, and I've got some more fire enemies. Thankfully, these are the less annoying variety. Just make sure not to jump into those spikes at the top. It's very easy to do so. Uh, then once we can uh, get past this one, there's a climbable floor down here. Uh, we can get underneath to get our sixth puzzle piece. So we almost got all those. Now I can continue up the uh, wall to the right and hit the button. Climb on up. And slide on down here. Now here we've got sort of a uh, barrel cannon puzzle, I guess you could say. It's really not that hard to figure out, but uh, just make sure you don't shoot yourself down into the pit and you die. So that would be bad. What we want to do is get ourselves up to the uh, the middle there, so we can hit this button. Then I'll kind of switch some of them around. Then you want to go to the bottom right in order to shoot and get this in, and then uh, make our way pretty much just straight back here, and into that one, into that one, and there we go. That one can be very easy to shoot yourself off into the pit. So uh, just make sure you're watching where you're shooting. Once we defeat all these guys, this little platform's going to raise, and a button appears. 
Hit it three times, and these things start opening from the uh, the wall here. We kind of have to be careful where we jump, because obviously they don't stay around very long. And then on that one, they kind of delay for a little bit, so it's kind of hard to get to. Um, there's a puzzle piece right over here. You can see it, and of course the G is back down there, so let's just go ahead and get it. I don't really care where I land. And uh, now that we've gotten all seven puzzle pieces and all the Kong letters, I can pretty much just go straight to the end here. So just keep on jumping up these things. Oh, over here. And uh, we should be just about done. I'm pretty sure this is the last little phase. Gotta love this, though, shooting around that big statue. That's pretty cool. So once we get here, we gotta shoot into the uh, statue monkey's mouth here. It'll spin around, and then uh, it's gonna go kind of slow, and we got to time our shot to get in. That can be kind of tricky. You have, I think you have three failures you can do here. So um, if you mess up, uh, yes, yeah, so you've got three different times you can mess up and then go back. Of course, the barrel disappears. Um, so, you know, you've only got three tries, but I'll see if we can do it better this time. There we go. That'll work. That last one can be kind of tricky. You've just got to work out where to shoot from. And we get a banana coin. All right, that works. Okay, so that takes care of 3-2. Awesome. Got our Kong letters, got our puzzle pieces, and we're good to go. See, so, I mean, wasn't that a pretty cool level? It, they really uh, did some pretty cool things with the ruins. It does kind of get away from that jungle atmosphere a little bit, so um, I do have to applaud that level. I really enjoy it. Also unlock the shop, so I guess we might as well stop in on by there. Made it all the way to the ruins. I'd pat you on the head if I wasn't so cranky. Yeah, well, that's it's in your name, so... All right, let's just go ahead and pick up the map key. I'm not going to bother spending my coins on anything else. I kind of want to see how many we can collect, so uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. And we should hit 99 lives just uh, regularly without having to buy any. All right, so we can uh, unlock that world there. I don't remember if that is 3-3 three, three or 3-4, three, but we're going to take on 3-3, three, three, Mast Blast. Now, this one is kind of memorable to me because um, it's one of the most annoying, I think, to get all the puzzle pieces. There are seven in total, and four of them are kind of just in one big area that requires quite a bit of exploration to find them. So, um, I'm not really a fan of that, but we should be alright. I think we'll uh, do just fine. So, uh, seeing as how four of them are in one area, there's not really a whole lot to sort of collect here at the beginning. Um, in fact, before we reach the first checkpoint, we'll only find one puzzle piece and the K, so... Uh, but the first puzzle piece is over here to the left. Uh, get on the edge of the slope, blow the dandelion, and get it. There it is. And now, as we're sliding down to the right, we want to jump up and get the K. That one's pretty easy to get, because you have to jump over the gap anyway. So, uh, you know, it's, it's really easy to see. Alright, then we just do some more sliding here and blast back further into the background. And we reach the first checkpoint and it kind of looks like we're back in the beach. Which uh, I'm also a little bit disappointed by. It's like we're in the ruins now. I'm ready for some new atmosphere, but um, I don't know. I guess they just ran out of ideas, which is too bad because the last level was really cool, but oh well. So we need to lure this guy over to the left in order to bounce off of him and get on top of these crates. And I get the banana bunch there, which is pretty good. And in the bottom crate we can find another puzzle piece. So that's number two, and as we go, uh, the number three is right there. Now we need to jump up and grab the O before the cannonballs destroy that little skull box there, because uh, you obviously have to use it to jump up, so I'll just be somewhat quick there. Then we gotta let the cannonballs destroy these two uh, skull boxes before we can move on. So they got it there. Wow, shot a lot of cannonballs at me there. <laughs> And then that little barrel will let us go into their ship and continue forward. Roll into this thing twice to continue on and jump on some crabs. And you can kind of see underneath the ship there, there is sort of like an underwater, you know, sort of, I don't know, texture, background, or whatever you want to call it. It's like, why don't you just use that and, you know, make a swimming level? It wouldn't be that hard, but, oh well, whatever. Okay, so here we've got some, uh, it's like, sloped platforming to deal with here. A little bit awkward, but it's still really not that bad. You just fall a lot farther than you feel like you should. Um, you can see the end is right underneath us there, but we're going to have to go a little ways to the right first, pound on this, and then go back to grab it. And there it is. And now you can see the next puzzle piece is up there on the boat, and that's pretty much the big area we're going to be exploring that's going to have um, the next four in it. Okay, so first off, we want to just drop on down here. There are some more skeleton boxes that the cannonballs can destroy. So let's let them do their thing. Once that happens, we can drop down below and enter a bonus game. 
And this is uh, another one that has the two big platforms on the top and bottom. Again, I'm, I'm not really a fan of this one, but, well, that's just how it goes. Alright, we're doing pretty good, though. Grab the coin. Hey, alright, that was pretty good. Alright, so we're going to come uh, back out here. We need to make our way back to the left and uh, jump off this side to make our way to that blast barrel. And then up here we have a sort of climbable ceiling with the G on it. Um, it's probably worth looking out for the cannonballs a little bit, but as long as you just kind of keep moving, they don't really seem to cause too much trouble. So uh, Then we want to jump over to the right, then roll jump off this to get onto uh, the, I don't know, the stern or whatever it's called. I have no idea about any nautical terminology, so you'll have to excuse me there. But uh, Then once we get that, um, let's see, we probably can jump off this to get back. Yeah, that'd be the quickest way to do it. Um, and then we need to let that go up, go up and back to the left, and then roll jump underneath this barrel, and that'll let us get over here. So that's what, six? Yep, so we've only got one more left. Now we need to get back into this barrel and head on up. Watch out for the crabs, of course. Then uh, go underneath here, and there will be a, another skeleton box. We can let the cannonballs do their thing. And that'll give us our final puzzle piece. So there we go, that's everything collected. Now we just gotta finish this thing off. Um, yeah, so that, you know, you do really have to look around quite a bit in order to find all the puzzle pieces here. So I'm not really a huge fan of this level, but um, it's all right, we got it, so. Now once we go up here, uh, we're gonna just be kinda automatic from here on now, and this is pretty awesome, check this out. <laughs> that's so cool. And then the exit barrel appears above us, so just get whatever, and we can finally be done with this. So pretty much just make sure you go everywhere you can go if you want to get all the puzzle pieces here. That one can be kind of a pain to get, so um, maybe that'll help out a few of you out there. Um, we finished off 3-3, and now we're going to uh, sort of backtrack a little bit and go for 3-4. It's the one that we unlocked up there at the top. So we're going to be taking on 3-4 Damp Dungeon. Now in this one, it's kind of tricky to get all the puzzle pieces because there are nine of them. Um, I think this is the first level that's had nine puzzle pieces since the very first one. But honestly, my memory might just be going bad. Uh, I know we definitely haven't had one in a while, though. So we are certainly going to have to search high and low for those, I can assure you that. Whoa, I did not mean to roll there. I don't know, I don't know where it picked that motion up at, but that's fine. Um, then right here at the start, um, we want to grab this barrel, but don't destroy it yet, because we want to ride the uh, water wheel around all the way up to the top right. Or there will be a bag we can hit and make the first puzzle piece pop out. You're going to be seeing a lot of water wheels in this place. That's kind of the main um, attraction of this world, so uh, get used to seeing them. So I got some gold sharks that are going to come up and try to bite us. Grab the K there and jump back up quickly. Wow, that was kind of close um, because the platform will collapse. Then once we get here, we got a weak section of the floor we can pound to get another puzzle piece, number two. All right, then as we keep going, we need to be heading over here to this bottom passage to the right. You gotta take a little shortcut if you do it the way I did, but um, if you're not quite comfortable with roll jumping, then it'd probably be better to just ride the uh, water wheel around here. All right, so now we need to wait and then get off at the top passage. Watch out for these screaming pillars, of course. And then the second one here has a puzzle piece inside, so we want to pound and get that out. Then the O is right next to us, so that one's pretty easy to get as well. Then as we head down here, there's a platform with a barrel and a dandelion. You don't need the barrel for anything, but you want to blow the dandelion to get a puzzle piece. That's number five, and that's how many you should have by the first checkpoint. Now, if we can do this right here, we can get a whole bunch of banana coins, and I definitely haven't done it right so far, but... And there we go, you also get a 1-up at the end if you do it perfectly, so that's pretty cool. Then as we come down here, there's a climbable surface we can go across to get to a bonus game, which is of course going to give us another puzzle piece. And this is the easy one where you spring and hit the bananas going around in a circle, so uh, this one's not bad at all. Oh, I, I almost missed the platform there, that would have been pretty embarrassing. Especially after I just said this is the easy one, but whatever. Okay, so now after the bonus game, we want to just keep going this way, and there is a windmill under there you can probably see, so we want to come down here 
and blow on this to make a platform appear on the left up there. Wait for the chicken to run by so you don't get hit by it. Then uh, once you get here, quickly roll off to the left and jump, because you don't want to, you know, miss that. So uh, then we can pound this to make another barrel appear that'll get us across. Like that. And now here, uh, you can grab this barrel if you want. You don't necessarily need this one. There is another one along the way. But um, I like to get this one just for sort of insurance, I guess. So then, of course, you can see the barrel up there at the top, and that's what we're going to be hitting with this, or the, the barrel. You can see the bag at the top. And then we need to make our way across here, and the end is just right up there. That's pretty easy to get to. Now, once we get here, we can just uh, go across the climbable ceiling, grab the G. Watch out for that chicken on stilts, though. Let him go by, and then we can uh, come down here. If we drop down and pound this, we get to drop into another bonus area. And this is one of those with the um, annoying rotating barrels, so... Uh, just do your best here, I guess. Oh, alright, I'm gonna wait to get that balloon. And there we are, now in the middle, and that'll do it. That should also be our ninth puzzle piece, I believe. So, if it's not, then I'm in trouble, because it is the final one to get. Yep, there's number nine. Awesome. Okay, so yep, from here, it's pretty much just finishing the level. You know, pretty self-explanatory. Jump on the birds. Got a big water wheel here with a huge shark. Look at that thing. That's crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, just jump your way across whenever the coast is clear. Um, that's another one of those that's kind of hard to time out, you know, getting what you want. So, um, at this point, you probably shouldn't be caring about the rewards anyway. So, there's all nine of the puzzle pieces. Awesome. And we have gotten 100% on 3 4. Now, the next level is really annoying, but I'm not going to get into that until we get there, of course. I'm just going to go ahead and sort of get it out there, you know. 3-5 <laughs> um, is probably my least favorite level in this world, so... Uh, you know what? Forget probably it is my least favorite level in this world. But anyway, we're going to take on 3-5 Itty Bitty Biters. Now, doesn't that just sound like fun? So, yeah, I mentioned in the last part this is probably my least favorite level of the world, and the reason for that is because of the enemies inside of it. They are quite creepy, and <laughs> I just don't like dealing with them, but I guess we don't have much of a choice. I suppose I'll soldier through. Uh, but first we want to head to the left to go up this uh, wall here on the side, shoot through the barrel, and that'll take us to a quick bonus game to start things off. And this is the two big moving platforms variety. Oh man, I missed that banana bunch up there. That's going to screw things up a little bit. Alright, get back up there. Get the thing, and there we are. Alright, so now we're back at the start again, so let's make some actual progress to the level this time. What do you say? Um, if we go over here, we can pull on the vine to open up the statue's mouth, and that'll let us through. It's got a nice blue eyeball there. Alright, and we can kind of get a sneak peek at what we're going to be dealing with. You can look in the floor there and see something. And you can also look at the big statues on the wall. Don't those look like it's going to be just uh, one heck of a time here, huh? And there's also another one up there in the ceiling. They're just kind of scoping me out for now. But once we get here, they pop out and begin their attack. Um, they're really weird. Um, <laughs> they just jump at you and try to bite, and they do this really weird laugh whenever they jump. It just freaks me out a little, but um, we'll deal. So, <laughs> uh, If you want, you can go up here to the right and get some banana medals. Or medals, banana coins. Oh, I'm still calling them that. I got DK64 on the mind, I guess. Uh, then we can use this thing, uh, flip it over, and kind of use it as a spring. Um, and that'll let us get the K up there, as well as continue forward. Now, once we get here, we want to be making our way up and to the left, which is a little easier said than done. I'm surprised that worked out that well. Uh, but we can get a puzzle piece up here at the top left. And we've got some more of these to deal with. Now, here's another variety of them, the red ones. These guys jump really high and also take two hits to kill, so just keep that in mind whenever you see them. Uh, got another one of these caged guys here, if we can use him as a spring. And let us get to the barrel up to the top. And that'll take us to another bonus game. My strategy for these is almost pretty random. I don't think I ever do it the same way twice. So you've probably seen me done this variety in a different way before, but I have no idea. So <laughs> I pretty much just do whatever feels right at the time. And I gotta go back up there for those now. Oh man, that sucked. There we are.
All right, so that's going to put us a little further in the level here. We can just keep on going to the right. Got some more of these guys to deal with. So just make sure you're uh, careful when dealing with those. Now, you can see we've got the O underneath there. You probably want to do a roll jump from the right. Um, you can also do it from the left if you do it over here, but um, that one could be a little bit harder to do. So there you go. Uh, got another guy we can use as a spring here to continue forward, so let's do it. Yeah, and these guys can almost change direction somewhat randomly. See, that one there turned while that one at the end didn't, so... It seems like it's just 50-50 which way they go. Uh, then right here before the checkpoint, one head to the left to get that puzzle piece there. That one's kind of obvious because you can see the opening in the wall. So, then we get the checkpoint. Now let's just deal with more of these, and then another red one comes out. Those guys are really weird, too. They have, like, even deeper laughs, so it's just even more creepy. Alright, and then here, th I hate these. These are probably my least favorite enemy ever. Um, this big stack of yellow ones. Um, if they, uh, I kind of waited a little too long here, but um, if you get close to them, they'll lean back, roar at you, and then all come flying at you. <laughs> this is really weird. I'd be creeped out if I was in Donkey Kong's shoes, but well, there you go. Okay, so let's just keep going here. We've got a few more stacks if y'all wants to deal with. This one you really got to get back for because they go a really long ways. So um, and then with the third one, the N is here, but a blue one pops out behind, so you can use it to bounce off of, and then uh, lure the yellow ones into attacking. It also freaks me out how their mouths are, like, completely open. It reminds me of a snake, you know, and I'm, I'm not really a big fan of snakes, but... <sighs> Alright, anyway, let's keep going. I think that might be the last of the yellow ones, actually. I'm not sure. But... Alright, then once we get here, we have kind of a clever puzzle, actually. You want to hit this guy when he's in the middle, and then blow out the candles on either side. That'll cause a puzzle piece to appear here, but you also want to do a roll jump off to the left. Um, I waited a little too long. Um, and this might be a little too far to the right. Yeah, so you can't make it. Um, I think you might be able to use him as a spring to do that, but I actually have no idea. Yeah, oh, of course, he turned around and I got hit. Alright. There it is. And then there's a puzzle piece up here. So there's number five, and then number six is just right above him. And then uh, it's also kind of funny, if you're missing a heart, the DK barrel will refill your health. <laughs> it just seems kind of weird, but that's how it works. And then you can see the G is right above us. Once we get in the middle, these guys are going to come out. So I mean, you can use one of them to bounce up here and get the G. We've got plenty of chances, so uh, don't worry about it. All right, then as we keep going, we've got more guys to deal with. We're going to be pretty much trapped in a room with them, uh, and you have to kill them all in order to advance. Of course, that sucked, but whatever. I seem to get hit by them a lot. See there? Oh, man, that was crap. I had I was definitely on top of them there. All right, well, we lost Diddy, which kind of sucks. I don't know if there's another DK barrel after this either, so we might even have to start the next level without him. You can also roll into him, too. I just really prefer jumping. Then we get into this. Oh, there's a DK barrel. Good. Um, and that'll take us down here where we got to deal with four red ones, and this can be a real pain because, uh, as you can remember, they take two hits to kill. So um, <laughs> you just got to be really careful in dealing with them. If you can plan it out right, you can actually get a life by jumping on all of them in a row. That was really cool. I've never done that before, but... <laughs> All right, then we want to pound over here to make a mushroom appear, and then we can blow on this to get our final puzzle piece, and we've got 100%. Now, you can see there's sort of a DK thing here. we got to blow the leaves off of it and then pound it. That'll make the exit barrel appear, and we are done. Ah, I'm kind of glad to have that level over with. Like I said, I'm really not a fan of it, but... Um, I suppose it does have an atmosphere that works very well, so, <laughs> you know, I suppose I can't really complain too much, but... Either way, 100% image gallery updated, and let's move on. Let's see, so uh, yeah, next time we're going to have to move on up there to 3-6. There's not a whole lot of levels here. After we beat 3-6, that'll open up the boss passage, as well as to the K level, so um, I'm sure that'll be great fun. But we're going to take on 3-6, Temple Topple. And this level's pretty easy. It's kind of a nice break after the last one. Um, mostly because we're going to be getting Rambi again in this one, so, and you know, he's pretty much invulnerable to almost everything. So he's going to make things a lot easier. You can also tell by the block on the left, but there you go. So we need to pretty much just keep going here. Um, once we get onto this platform, head back to the left and on top of this guy, go into the barrel, and you'll get shot across here for the first puzzle piece. That was also, uh, that also really reminds me of the original Donkey Kong Country. There were a lot of, uh, sort of barrels where you would just fly over the level, you know? So, uh, it really reminds me a lot of it. But, uh, from here, pretty much just keep going to the right. Rambi will be in the crate right here. And now we need to be taking him back. Um, you can ground pound this section of the floor to get the K. Um, so now we're gonna go back all the way to the beginning of the stage. Remember, we saw that Rambi block, block uh, back there, so we're definitely gonna have to do something with it. 
And there it is, and there's our second puzzle piece, so let's just keep going to the right. Uh, this one, it's pretty easy, um, not just because you have Rambi, but I mean, finding the puzzle pieces and everything is really not bad either. So, um, this one is actually a kind of nice stage to be doing. So let's just keep going. Again, Rambi can destroy literally anything in his path, so you really don't have to worry too much, including those blocks, which is pretty awesome looking. Let's see, is there anything in here? I don't think so. You can also see there's these flaming rings. Of course, Rambi will take damage if you hit the rings, but if you jump through them, you get some nice rewards, so it's probably a good idea to do so. I mean, it's pretty easy to do. Then once we get here, there's a weak section of the floor we can pound through and go to the right for a bonus game. And this one's pretty simple, just gra grab all the flying bananas and banana metals. I don't know why some of them have wings and some of them don't, yet all of them are still flying. You know, it's like, what's the point of putting wings on them? It just makes them look weird. But... Either way, we've uh, got our next puzzle piece. We're also up to like uh, 212 banana coins, was it? So <laughs> we're doing pretty good in that regard. I guess we can grab some of these bananas here. And there's a checkpoint. Now, also keep in mind, Rambi is weak to fire, so he will take damage from those guys, but um, they're pretty easy to avoid, and those are the only things in the stages that actually cause damage. Uh, the next puzzle piece is right there, so we've got four. We actually won't get the last one until the end of the stage, so that's pretty much all we need to worry about. And then from here on out, it's really just going to the right. Uh, jumping through the flaming hoops as you see them is also a pretty good idea. Uh, the end's way up there. That one's easy to get with the flower. Destroy that thing just for fun. And that one... Might as well run to the right make this a little quicker. I love the background too, it looks really neat. And then you can see the final ring is up there, and then we get another nice banana bunch in the end for jumping through all of them. So, yeah, it's probably worth doing. I mean, it's really easy to do, so. Let's just keep going. Uh, like I said, Rambi's pretty much godlike, so you really don't have to worry about too much. Um, these platforms you probably do actually want to run on because they crumble away really quickly. Um, you really notice it if you're just walking slow, so uh, you might want to pick up the pace just a little bit once you get here. Just make sure to grab the G there. I almost missed it. That would have been bad. Just go on across, then jump through the next ring. And then make sure you don't hit the exit barrel because the final puzzle piece is right here next to it. That's kind of mean if you ask me, but well, that's just how it goes. So I'll we'll just get something, I don't care. Yep, 213. That's a lot of coins. So that does it for this level. Um, <laughs> pretty quick, like I said, it's really nice and easy, so I do definitely enjoy it. But um, it's always good to see Rambi around too. Okay, so yep, that's going to do it. Let's go ahead and continue onward. And that's going to uh, complete all of the normal levels for World 3. Um, of course, once we do this, it's going to unlock the path to the boss, as well as the K level down there, which actually this one isn't that bad, so um, this one, you know, it shouldn't be as bad as the last one was. That didn't go so well, but we pulled it through either way, so I guess that works. We're going to be going to 3K Shifty Smashers. And uh, this one, I think I mentioned in the last part, is really not as bad as the other K levels. I'd say it's probably the easiest. Um, because, uh, simply because you're not really being rushed. You know, in the first one, the platforms were collapsing, and the second one, they were falling into lava. And this one, you can really just sort of stop and plan out your moves pretty well. So, um, it's really not that hard to deal with. Obviously, we've got to avoid these blocks with the classic Donkey Kong sprites on them, which is kind of cool in and of itself. But... Um, basically, just make sure you're in a place where you don't get smashed. Um, being smashed does not kill you instantly. It only causes you to take one heart of damage. So you can actually afford to mess up a few times even and still be all right. And you can see the first puzzle piece down there, the little nook that it's in is safe. So you can stand there if you want and pretty much just plan out where we're going next. And we can see the spot to the right of this is safe. So that's probably where I'm heading next. Then we can follow this and this spot down here is also safe. Let's just keep on going here. I think we need to go around in order to get through, obviously, because those two big blocks up top aren't going to let us through. And quickly make your way through here. That one can be a little bit um, tricky to do. If you fall back too far, you'll get crushed as well. So um, you kind of just have to time out your roll. Then wait for this one to go to the right, jump up and grab it. That's probably the easiest puzzle piece you can get here. And then we can go through, and this little area with the vase is safe, so that's good. And then you can probably see the next puzzle piece over there on the right. This whole square here is safe, so we can wait. And then just make our way on down through here. Then quickly jump back out before we get crushed. See, I mean, this place really, you can really just stop and take your time. You know, you're not really in any rush. Uh, but here we've got these uh, falling spike platforms. So we're going to have to uh, be a little quick. And whenever they drop that on us, just make sure to duck. You'll be safe. 
Uh, don't shake the Wii remote and blow or anything, though, because you will get hit by it. Also, don't think you're safe on that ledge, because you, you can see you will get crushed, so make sure you wait. Um, and then I, I want to wait for this guy, actually, because he's immune for the spikes and doesn't stop, so he could hit you very easily while you're sitting there waiting. And so I'm going to wait right behind him here. Oh, wow, he turned around a lot faster than I thought he would. And then just make sure to jump over them. And we can just wait at the end and we should be fine. There we go. See, you haven't taken a single hit. This is really not that bad. Um, Alright, so we got these four blocks that are pretty easy to get by. This whole place is safe here. I mean, there's a lot of empty space, so uh, you really don't have to worry too much. Oh, wow, I almost got crushed there. I was kind of careless, but... Alright, go back through here and we're fine. Now, I'll quickly get in the middle. And you can see the next puzzle piece down there at the bottom. Again, a lot of open space, so pretty easy to get around. Then we can make our way up here, use these as sort of steps, and get our cross. Now, once you get here, you do actually kind of need to hurry, because uh, these two things are going to be closing in on each other. Uh, there's a pretty easy puzzle piece to get. Uh, low jumps are pretty much the way to go, and you'll get through there. That's really the only place where you might run the risk of getting hit, <laughs> if you ask me, but it's still really not that bad. So, I mean, 3K is really... Um, it's a pretty easy level overall. We got five of the puzzle pieces and another orb, so that's good. We're pretty much all done here. We're just ready to take on the boss and move on to World 4. So yeah, the ruins are actually kind of short. There's only six normal levels. Um, uh, the beach had a lot more. It had like eight, I think, maybe? I don't know. I'm, see, I, I, like I said, my memory's horrible, so I have no idea. But <laughs> we're going to move on to 3B, Ruined Roost, boss of World 3, and then after this we're going to be done moving on to World 4, so that's pretty cool. Um, now, this boss, I'd say, is uh, definitely a step up. It's the most difficult one we've faced so far, which I know isn't saying much, but this one is actually a little bit tricky, um, especially if it's like your first time. So uh, let's head to the right and see what we got here. Yeah, that's right. The boss is a bird in a pot with a crown and bombs. Sure, why not? We'll go with it. <laughs> so basically, he's going to throw out some bombs. You just want to pick one up, and then uh, you can wait for him to sort of swoop down here and throw one at him. Um, of course, if you could hit him before then, it still works as long as you hit him at some point. Um, but he has a couple of different phases, and it's going to get a lot harder as we go on. This battle can actually take a little while, so... There we go. So you can get him there if you're good enough, and I, I almost could have got him there, too, but... I get down a little bit. Oh, wow, I threw it over him. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, and occasionally he'll sort of sweep the ground like that, too. You can really just duck somewhere and be fine. Uh, this bomb here, I mean, it would be cool if I could hit him with that, but whenever it explodes, um, it sends a shockwave along the ground. You can probably see heading towards me, so... I mean, you just kind of need to watch out for that, too. It's really... Um, it could be really easy to lose track of it, since you have to focus on both him and the thing on the ground as well. So, uh, then once you hit him three times, he'll do this and sort of destroy one of the platforms and uh, pretty much repeat the same thing. He's got a couple new tricks up his sleeve here, though, that we'll probably see in a little bit. Nice, actually got him with that one. Whoa, all right. <laughs> I almost got hit by that. That was kind of close. And then uh, you probably need to duck if you're going to be out in the middle when he does that, so... Oh, well, okay, that works. At least I hit him. That's really all I care about. I can take the hit. It's fine. Oh, wow. I didn't expect him to do it twice in a row. I don't really remember this guy that well. It has been a little while since I fought him, so... All right, and if you're over here when he's dropping his bombs, it's pretty easy to hit him. And there you go. You hit him three times again, and it uh, looks like that's going to finish him. Poor thing, he was just born and he's already dead. Well, that's kind of sad. But anyway, let's beat this guy up. Uh, I think I think it paused for a second there. I almost got 22. I'm not sure if I did or not. Now, let's see. My money's on 21. Ah, yeah. I have gotten 22 before. You gotta time it out like just perfectly. But 21's still not bad, so I'll take it.
Alright, so we beat him. <laughs> the gong breaks in half. Flag and victory music, and now we can move on to World 4, The Cave. And let me tell you, this is a pretty fun one. Um, it's actually filled with a lot of different vehicle levels, really. There's not um, a bunch of platform to be doing, so... Uh, this one is kind of an interesting world. It's definitely going to be fast-paced and action-packed for sure. But um, we're going to take it on next time. So until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.